So maybe let's move on to the second component, which is uh, our computer vision algorithm. And uh, I mean, I, I, I know I understand that uh, teams do not have to use a computer vision algorithm as a part of uh, their, their robo. It's not a must have thing for this team. But then my question is, why not? Why should you not have it if it go, it's going to give you a great value? So the value at that it will give is basically you'll be able to understand the status of the game field. You will be able to uh, see what is happening after you throw and before you throw a disk. You will be able to understand if uh, uh, how many disks are there onto the how many of your disks are there onto the spot. You will be able to understand uh, how, what progress your opponents have made and like things like this. So basically, in terms of tools and algorithms, what you will have to do is you will have to acquire an image from the game field, detect balls versus disks, do color detection, then uh, count objects, and so on. So these are the things that you will have to do if you have if you are planning to use computer vision kind of uh, algorithm. Uh, yeah. I just want to add something that we have seen a lot of demos even in the MATLAB webinar. So can you go through that all those demos or apps? There are many because I have seen on the MATLAB website as well as the webinars. Yeah, sure. Let me let me share my screen. I I do have uh, I do have something ready available here. So uh, this is the this is a typical computer vision workflow, um, uh, and uh, you can also see the MathWorks tools supporting specific tasks. It begins with image acquisition and pre-processing. Then you get into feature extraction, detection, targeting, and tracking, and so on. Today we'll mainly cover the first part of the workflow. So uh, if you want to acquire an image into MATLAB, there are support packages for a variety of cameras. Today, I have installed uh, this one, which is a support package for generic OS interface, and I'll be using this. Uh, next, we focus on image processing tasks. I have listed a few typical tasks here. Uh, today, I'll focus on the color thresholder app and show you how to detect specific colors in a given image. What I'm showing you today is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, with MathWorks tools, you can go the whole nine yards from image acquisition right up to hardware implementation. Uh, you can generate code, um, C code from your computer vision algorithm in MATLAB or turn it into an executable file or a MEX file and then integrate it into your downstream workflow. Code generation enables you to spend much less time writing and debugging low level C code and more time developing and tuning your algorithms. With this approach, you maintain one golden reference in MATLAB and get to C code much faster. Having a single reference makes it much easier to make changes as the requirements change, and you also get to test it more systematically and thoroughly with more real world scenarios as well. And, uh, and finally, uh, we have interface to open CV as well. We have seen uh, that a lot of student community is using the student is using the uh, open CV as a very popular tool. Uh, so basically, MATLAB integrates with open CV. Uh, that allows you to mix and match tools where they are best suited. With that introduction, let's jump into a quick tour of our capabilities. How to get started using computer vision algorithms? And my answer to that is get started with the help of MATLAB's help. Now I'm opening uh, the help browser. Uh, this is help of MATLAB. Uh, we call it as doc as well. If I go browse all the way to image processing and computer vision algorithms, I can open help of computer vision system toolbox. This may seem common sense, but this has a lot of value. One thing here that you can look for specific sections here. You can get started if you are really new to it, or you can look for specific sections that you want. My favorite thing here is to get started with the help of examples. Each of these examples includes code that you can try and reuse along with helpful description of the task. So uh, you can step through the code. You can change, make changes to your code. You can change parameters. You can basically customize it and start this code as a as a starting point for whatever tasks that you uh, that you are doing that you are planning to do. So that's a great value to that's a great thing to get started using computer vision system toolbox. That's the help. Uh, Prasanna, you have also mentioned about some apps. So can you go through that? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you apps. So onto the MATLAB home screen, there is a special mention of these apps. And um, especially for image processing and computer vision, we have this dedicated section of apps. 
so basically now what is app app is an interactive uh, environment it's fun to try out popular capabilities in matlab using apps for example the image acquisition app is really popular uh, you'd use this to import your images from various sources another popular app is color thresholder so let's try to open the color thresholder app so this is my color thresholder app and first thing that we do here is load the image so uh, today i am ready with one image which is uh, our color detection from our uh, our this year's rule book only so i'm sure most of you are aware of this image that i'm trying to do so let's choose rgb as the color space rgb is uh, i mean it's easiest to understand basically the image here is stored as a matrix with rgb values you can see the statistical distribution of various colors various colors in the pixels of the image and the same information can be seen uh, in the bottom right corner with the help of point cloud uh, now for the sake of simplicity let me hide the point cloud and let's work with this uh, the way this app works is uh, that you provide specific threshold values for rg and b as inputs and then the algorithm detects regions in the image that fall in that threshold values so let me instead of saying let me do it let me try to do it so i'm going to do it with the help of this region selector tool so this region selector tool helps me to uh, choose some portion so now let me choose the red portion here and the moment i choose red portion what happens is uh, basically it um, as soon as i select that region it shows the distribution of rgb and in that region right here so this is where you can see the distribution of rgb so what is the r component g component and b component and you can also see uh, other regions with say, with same color combinations in that um, in, in the image and it will be a lot visually clear if i show you the binary so in this binary uh, the regions in white are the regions of interest once this color thresholding is done what i can do is i can export it as a matlab function so whatever color thresholding i did with the help of app is now available to me as a matlab function okay yeah uh, prasanna i just must say that this is really cool means uh, i think uh, this is very helpful for the students if they are going for the competition and uh, just uh, i want to ask you one more thing this you also told about some support packages yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. can you go briefly about that yeah sure so uh, basically support packages let, let me quickly close this so basically support packages are on to matlab home screen click on add ons and what you need to do next is you need to click on get hardware support packages let us quickly do that so once you click on get hardware support packages it will open the add on explorer there are a number of uh, hardware support packages available here now as it opens uh, you'll be able to see how what are the different things available so this is a huge list and then it is really useful so let us now that we are talking about image acquisition image processing toolbox let's see what are the relevant hardware support packages available see on my screen now you'll be able to see various matlab support packages uh, relevant for usb webcams image acquisition toolbox then uh, there is support package for kinect so like this there are number of cameras number of image acquisition devices which are supported by this hardware support package it basically helps me to get started very easily yeah this is uh, very helpful means and very much easy to install yes so that's very easy to install yeah and let's also talk about the other hardware support packages like arduinos our arduino is a a very popular uh, series now that we are talking about hardware implementation see here you can see two kinds of support packages one is matlab support package for arduino hardware and second is simlink support package for arduino hardware and just for records i have already installed simlink support package the system already knows about it so uh, matlab support package basically allows you to read write and analyze data from that hardware so whatever hardware sensors actuators are connected through matlab you can control them you can read write basically you can analyze data so this is basically tether mode uh, yeah. simulink support package is a little different it helps you to develop algorithms that run stand alone on a hardware device so uh, 
okay one thing how to install it you just click on the hardware support package uh, it will show you a link to install it now that i have already installed this let me go to some other link of matlab hardware support package and if i want i can install it online or i can only download it and i can distribute it among my friends once i get the setup so it is this easy to install hardware support package once you install hardware support package what you basically get is you get this library into your simulink library browser now on my screen i am highlighting the arduino hardware support package it basically it is nothing but a set of all these io device drivers uh, like analog input output digital input output etc etc all these drivers are available to me into my simulink library browser now what that means is i can add these blocks to my algorithm directly and i can make them as a part of my uh, my algorithm and uh, once i do that uh, generating code is also really easy uh, let me let me try to see if i can get hold of any any uh, any demo very quickly so uh, i i can actually do number of things very easily i get to focus on the algorithm and the code generation or porting my control algorithm onto hardware is all taken care of so now this is a very simple model and this is a standard servo write block from my arduino so i have developed this block for testing my servo motor basically yeah, you can see that that's just two blocks but in order to generate code all i need to do is i need to click on this button deploy to hardware once i click on this deploy to hardware button automatically code is generated and it is downloaded onto my arduino board i'm sure you know arduino board is connected is powered through my usb port of my laptop so it is already connected as a com port to my matlab and that's the way matlab communicates with that arduino port uh, veer uh, you have also won the simulink hardware challenge and i'm sure you have, you must have used these kinds of uh, hardwares so why don't you share your yeah, experience with the student teams yeah actually uh, what you showed here or the arduino we have used arduino only actually so if you want i can okay. share my screen okay yeah uh, sure I please just, uh, my, even in the video it's available means for the challenge what we want actually so one second yeah uh, so so this is uh, what it is so we have we had this mobile robot and whatever code or signals we developed so instead of again coding in arduino so using this support package you can directly send the signals and you can test means various algorithm you can test directly so the, we have used the same thing means uh, the, uh, what you have showed over here uh, about the support package so and it is very much helpful so you no need to again code it anywhere else uh veer can you go back to your screen please that's really cool uh, video plus uh, animation yeah so this is the experiments which we conducted actually great so that's so done using arduino yeah yeah this is from arduino actually this from arduino oh that's really cool so you can easily save the time means whatever algorithm you have built in the simulink so directly you can just dump it in this one right 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 i understand that's great that's really great yeah thank you <laughs> so um uh just to uh, just to get you I, i'd like to share my screen veer uh, if you could stop sharing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so sure. just to get uh, all these students team started with hardware so i understand one thing uh, which is you may not always be using uh, you may not always be using uh, arduino you might want to use some other hardware so basically uh, we support with uh, many uh, we support with various uh, hardware support packages so I, i i know this is little bit out of i'm going out of flow but i'd quickly like to show you on to the national robocon page this is where you can get complimentary software offer and these are the tools that are available for you with the with the uh, with the offer the reason i am trying to show you is we are giving you a tool called as embedded coder now embedded coder helps you to generate uh, ncc code highly optimized c code from your uh, Uh, from your whatever control algorithm and this could be a generic c code so you do not always have to use arduino for generating code you can generate c code you can integrate it with your id whatever microcontroller you are using and then you can manually integrate it and then you can use it as a part of your project so it doesn't always have to be arduino that's the point i'm trying to make here and again lot of hardwares are supported so let us have a quick look at what are the various hardware supported by mathworks and i'm going to open it in in front of you guys only um, it's basically mathworks.com slash hardware and uh, this basically shows you hardware from many vendors are supported 
so just have a look at uh, the drop down list here multiple hardwares from multiple vendors are supported by matlab and simulink so you can generate um, highly optimized c code from uh, for these hardwares so that means like you saw uh, arduino um, arduino's io device drivers you will get arduino uh, io device drivers for these hardwares as well onto your simulink especially for embedded hardwares again how do you, how should you get started is if you are using hardwares like arduino or raspberry pi it is very easily possible for you to get started uh, with the help of youtube tutorials i mean youtube has uh, dedicated tutorials for arduino for raspberry pi and basically they are also using a lot of my, my, a lot of matlab and simulink let me quickly walk you through this page because this page national robocon india page on mathworks web, mathworks website has a number of good resources um, there are some recorded webinars which would help you get started using matlab and simulink this is where you can uh, see a, a request for complementary matlab software one thing uh, really valuable resource is there is computer vision training for your robocon team we have created this training we are sharing the videos and resources you just request access to the training material and you will be granted the access the only thing is you should be registered for robocon uh, you should have matlab installed onto your system so that you can access the training and that's another great thing uh, along with that last thing i would like to share is you can enter maker zone now maker zone is a community page uh, specifically created for arduino raspberry pi like these low cost hardwares there are a lot of projects lot of codes lot of models readily available which you could get started with uh, and i'm not sure if veer uh, has used this or as a starting yeah. point for his work yeah I, so, I would like to share actually uh, yeah. from whatever the sources you have shown over here from these only i have learned all these uh, things actually so these sources are very much beneficial to learn that's great um so basically this covers the hardware connectivity component of the system uh, as well uh, hopefully this discussion was helpful to the contestants and um, before we end our uh, before we end our uh, our live session uh, i would like to take your attention to few things uh, one thing is uh, um, I'm sure question and answer are in progress at the moment. Uh, we'll try to see if we could. Um, uh, my my colleagues are already addressing your question and answers. Uh, if you have any additional questions, you can always send us email at support underscore robocon at mathworks dot in. So that's a common email ID that student teams can use to communicate with me and uh, the complete robocon team at mathworks. Uh, you can access complimentary software offer and training videos from the national robocon India page. We have already seen it. I'm writing a blog on Robocon India. The blog is on Element 14, but we are sharing it uh, on Facebook, ABU Robocon Facebook page and everywhere. We would be having our next Robocon session on 8th February, which is like pretty close to the competition. Um, our next Google yeah. Hangout, our next YouTube live session is, as it is very close to the final, we would love to have your team feature onto this live session. So please get in touch with us if you are interested. Of course, we will not ask you to share your strategy, your winning strategy with the community. But there are some interesting things which we could do on a video uh, live. Until then, good luck with the preparations and thank you.